So yesterday I was uh, just watching a video on Facebook from a renowned um, camper converter in the uh, Midlands um, and um, has alarmed really because he, the video is about this area here by the front wheel arch. It's a plastic lining and um, these two grub plastic grub fasteners here conceal a hidden compartment which is shrouded by the um, by the plastic so um, <clears throat> so basically if I take it to the back <coughs> real large has and got the plastic lining it's it's gonna be like this area here that you've got to watch but on the front obviously it's all covered in plastic so I'm just going to show you how to how to do it so I happen to have one of these which is handy for getting out um, the pl plastic fasteners but you can use uh, a, plas uh, a flathead screwdriver so all I'm going to do I don't know if you can see this oh yeah there you go is prize that out like so Sorry, I shouldn't break. I'm just gonna do the other one. It looks a bit, I should have done it on the other side. It seemed a bit easier. Handy having this, such, this tool actually, if you're doing a lot of work with, um, and if you're going to find, you're going to be doing a lot of this. Ah, oh, there you go, look. This side is, seems like leaves. But that's what I got out the um, passenger side. And then I'll just put this pile here. And as you can see, it's a little sand and dirt. You got to get your fingers all in there. And look at all this coming out. If you didn't know, if I hadn't seen that video yesterday, no way on earth I'd have even thought about looking here. So make sure you have a, a go there. Now, also, <clears throat> these panels here they leak um, while they allow water to go behind, and then when the fasteners like these <clears throat> hold them hold these onto the vehicle the water is allowed to go through here and it collects in the vehicle in like a well now underneath the vehicle i'll just show you now there are certain little places where you've got to every now and again just make sure there's one for example okay so you look for these little indentations here and every now and again you just got to put something up there just to make sure they're clear now when i was looking on the actual mercedes service sheet if you take it to a proper mercedes uh, dealership for a service that is part of their service regime is to um i believe is um, to just check these. So obviously if you're not taking it to a proper Mercedes dealer, that could be the problem that people are having when it goes rusty in the end. So anyway, there you go. Um, I'm just gonna carry on, but as you can see, I haven't finished yet. And that's the pile out of the driver's side there. So yeah, get yourself one of these tools, probably, uh, be worth it in the end because so, you know i'd be doing this probably twice a year at least now so um yeah get one of those probably from a good automotive shop and um just make sure you keep hold of those they'll just pop back in later so um don't worry okay 